It's me, Owen Wynn Evans. Hello, hope you're all having a lovely afternoon. The weather's all right, isn't it? Now, I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited because I've got some live music coming up now. And my live music guest this afternoon is York-based singer-songwriter, the wonderful Rachel Croft. Rachel, hello. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for coming on in. So Rachel is here, and I'm just going to to, uh, visually explain. You've got a guitar, but I asked you earlier why that guitar is so big. Let's start with that question. Why is that guitar so big? Um, Well, it's it's a jumbo body. Jumbo Um, body. I've got an Ibanez that was bought for my 21st birthday and Christmas put together by my entire family. Brilliant. Um, so it's very special to me. But yeah, it's got a really wide body. Uh, it's one of the exotic wood uh, varieties of the electroacoustics. Wow, it looks amazing. <laughs> it's quite an impressive looking guitar, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, it's warped maple. Um, right. But yeah, it doesn't have an awful lot of body without an amp, but it works mm. really well for busking. Brilliant. Maple's quite heavy as well, isn't it? Yeah, but um, and it is quite a heavy guitar compared to my friends, but I'm so used to it because yeah. I've had it for three years now. Now you can guess how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> and as well, having that guitar allows you to say that you've got a super jumbo body guitar, oh, which yeah. in itself is worth it, I reckon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Rachel, what is your kind of style of music? Um, well, the stuff that I write myself is just whatever comes out. Um, I really like sort of Joni Mitchell and Eva Custy, Matt Corby, you know, the Australian guy. Lovely. Um, they're amazing and I really like that sort of folk because my my mum's a folky and I grew up with that sort of music um so my style I guess easy listening but more recently I've been getting into like Ben Howard London Grammar that sort of thing I really like them too London Grammar amazing (gasps) yeah and they're from Nottingham like me oh brilliant (laughs) actually they're on I think they're on tour at the moment are they going on tour and didn't their tickets like sell out in like a minute or something I'm not surprised uh is it Hannah she's got the most amazing voice beautiful voice mm. yeah great no i mean they sound like really lovely musical influences mm-hmm. um now you're gonna play us some songs today yes. it's very exciting two songs i believe yeah and these are your own songs they are yeah. so have how long have you kind of written your own music for um so i've been a musician for three years and mm. uh full-time rather i was doing it longer than that before but only really writing after i became a a full-time musician because mm. everyone seemed to be doing it i was like well i'll, I'll give it a go and it, and when you get the right song it's it's addictive um but they're very hard to write i find it really difficult so maybe only a song every four five six months right. ever comes out so mm. not that long but still <laughs> i think it's super impressive because as somebody who doesn't write songs you know mm. I, it sort of baffles me mm. really it's amazing um, we're going to have a, a bit more of a chat in, well, you're going to be here for the next kind of 20 minutes or so. If that's all right. And we of might course. keep you here for a bit longer. Um, can you play us one of your songs? Of that would be amazing. Yeah. What, what's this first song you're going to play us? Um, it's called Rainy A Day and it's about mm, three years old. And I wrote it at 4am on a, like a November and like three years ago. 4 <laughs> is the best time to write a song, oh, honestly. Really? Um, yeah, one of the quickest songs that came out but I think it's because I wasn't thinking too much about it yeah anyway this is called Rainy Day Hold on my love The darkness hasn't come to us quite yet Dream of me when it does Please forget all our regrets Blow and blow it away The dust we've left to collect here all this time I won't try to cry or even beg you to stay You see it's been a long time now since you were mine Losing you won't seem to bother me so much In fact I hate the way I cry for no reason in such The truth is you and I, well, we just seem to lose our way. And 
I'll save these tears for a rainier day. A rainier day, a rainier day. I'll save these tears till rain clouds come my way. I can hear what you are thinking and I can't help but agree, you see. I've wasted years and years to try to make you proud of me. But I wouldn't cut my hair for you or change my stupid clothes. I would laugh when you were angry and I'm friends with those you loathe. Seeing you with other girls won't bother me, you know. They probably see the best in you as I did long ago. And I'll tell you that I'm over you. There's not much left to say, except I'll save these tears for rainy earth. Like all these things that I do that you're always trying to hold To a night your dream of silhouettes and shining moonbeams While I sit and cling at life's ripping seams That was absolutely Thank amazing. Oh, Thank you so much. What a lovely song. Thank you. You have a beautiful voice as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, um, it's developed a lot over the three years. It used to be a lot fancier, a lot more riffs in it, but I actually have cut all those out because it doesn't need it. Really? You, <laughs> it's funny how you kind, of alter, you, you kind of alter your voice or your voice changes over time, I guess. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, definitely. Like simplifying. Simple is better, I think. Don't yeah. try and fancify it. It's a bit like the Mariah Carey thing. She's yeah. got an amazing voice. Ah, but, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All that. No, just, just, just calm down. <laughs> yeah, Christina Aguilera is another one, isn't oh, she? Yeah, yeah. Crams a load of notes into uh, into one kind of second. Yeah, but it's more powerful when you do it only occasionally. I think. Yeah, totally. But like Eva Cassidy, she doesn't go full on. Mm until like the main part of the song and that's when it just is like wow and yeah. his hair stand up and everything yeah it's more powerful then as you say absolutely mm -hmm. if you've just joined us on BBC Radio York that was the wonderful Rachel Croft uh, York based singer songwriter um Rachel, you're going to stick around um, for a bit, if that's all right. Yes, of course. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to play a little song, a little songette. We're going to play a bit of Simply Red, and then uh, we're going to go to travel, and then we're going to have another song from Rachel um, after that. It should be very nice. So yes, this is Simply Red on BBC Radio York. 
More live music coming up shortly from Rachel Croft, and I'll be having a little chat with her as well. About her uh, musical styles, about what uh, inspires her, that sort of thing as well. So do stay tuned here on BBC Radio York with me, Owen Wynne Evans. You can get in touch with us as well. 81333, start the message with the word York. BBC Radio York. Hello, hello. How are we today then? It is I, Owen Wynne Evans. Hope you're all having a good Saturday. The weather's all right, isn't it? A bit cloudy, but at least we're going to get some sunshine. And I say that with authority. Now, before travel and before Simply Red, you may have heard some live music here in Radio York, which is fabulous. I've got Rachel Croft in the studio. Hello, Rachel. Hello. It's lovely having you here. It's lovely to be here. You played a fabulous song for us earlier. Thank you. Uh, you're going to play another song shortly, I believe. Yes. But first of all, let's have a little chit chat about you and your music and your kind of musical <clears throat> styles, that, that kind of thing. Sure. So... You know, you said earlier that you, you woke up one morning at like four and wrote a song and you said that was the easiest it was for you to write a song. Mm. Does inspiration come to you at strange times like that? Yes, and but really, really rarely, you know, um, because um, I've been a full time musician for like three years. It stops being the sort of thing that you rush to get home to, which mm. is something I do miss a bit because before that I would be like, oh, must get home from uni and write or, you know, play a song or. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So. Yeah. It's, it's weird, isn't it? I guess when you do something as a job, it, it becomes that. It becomes a job. Yeah. But you haven't lost the sort of delight towards music at all, no? no I still get the the hair standing on end actually I've, I've kind of become a lot more focused on uh, recording recently I'm doing um, my very first single and it's wow. called Only Dreams uh, which I won't play for you I'm playing a different song because there's no <laughs> reverb on the microphone oh, so that's I see. actually the reason <laughs> oh, um, sorry we couldn't solve no, that no, for no, you that's fine no, it's fine I'll play a different <laughs> song um, but yeah this is the first um, song that I've recorded that has more than just my vocals and guitar on mm. so it's the first thing that will summarise me as a musician um, and that is really exciting at the moment I'm recording it with uh, my friend Dan Webster as well. Brilliant, that's <laughs> great Do you perform with a band at all ever? Or is yes, it, yeah? um, so part of the sort of fingers and pies that I do as a musician uh, to kind of keep it varied is I play in the Croft Mullen Band with my friend Carl Mullen. Um, we're playing tomorrow night and mm. all sorts. Um, Here in, if, in York? Yes, so um, if you're interested in that, it's Croft and Mullen Band on Facebook. Great. Um, and then my own stuff is Rachel Croft Music. Fab. <laughs> Shameless self No, no, go for it. Go for it. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, you know, um, you, you said that, that you, you sometimes play in that band. Yeah. So is that a jazz band? Yes. Sorry, it is. yeah, it no, is. No, no, that's um, okay. Billy Holiday, Ella, Etta James, Ella Fitzgerald. Yeah. I really like that sort, you know, jazzy, like yeah. lower, using my lower range. Uh, jazz is change. just amazing, isn't it? It's an amazing kind of style of music. Yeah, really free as well. I mean, we, we don't really rehearse as a band. It's more that we kind of play by ear. We're really good at communicating. I'm really good friends with Carl, so. Nice. And we've been working together maybe two, two and a half years now. Really? Oh, it feels like a while. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, when you've got that connection with someone, uh, it's great, isn't it, really? When, as you say, it's not, it's almost kind of you're ad-libbing. Yeah. And it develops exactly. throughout the song. Brilliant. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel, it, it never feels sort of prescribed or... Mm or forced uh, I would I would actually probably hate that because what if I miss my cue <laughs> and the then thing. Carl's like oh he would never he's really good at styling that out really uh, or if I get in the wrong place I'm just like I'm gonna do 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 you know kind of stick a bit of uh Brilliant. Like scat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was a drummer, I used to play to a click track sometimes. So you'd have a click track is basically um, like a metronome beep, that goes in beep, your ear. That's it. Beep, All the time. Beep. Keep to the beat. If there are different sounds playing through the speakers and stuff. Yeah. And if you miss your cue with a click track, it's gone. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> it's actually quite a skill to be able to play to a click track because lots of people get over focused on it. Yeah. Overly focused and then the they go. I would just turn it up really loud so that I could only hear the click, you know? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and that kind of... We were talking off um, just when that song was playing earlier about jazz and how... as I think I was talking about me as a drummer again, you know, how difficult it is and it's quite technical. Mm. Do you enjoy that, that style of music or do you prefer your own sort of musical creations? Um, well, I love, I love playing jazz and it's like a really... Um, fun way to kind of spend my job or whatever yeah um but really i mean i am focused on trying to do my own stuff as well i that's kind of busking is kind of my day job um, um but then i do tend to sort of i don't know perform my own songs when i'm busking and things so i don't know i would say jazz is is kind of my 
my hobby uh, yeah. m- more. It wouldn't be something I would be like, I must have a career as a jazz yeah, singer. I see. Um, but I do really enjoy it, of course, yeah. And the sort of songwriting <laughs> is more the bread and butter, I suppose. It's something that's more sort of proving elusive, which is making me obsessed about it a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> but it so, shows yeah. you can. It shows that it's something that's important to you, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I, I don't just want to be a, um, a... Just Sorry, I just totally... No, no. Um, I don't want to be uh, just singing everyone else's songs all mm-hmm. the time. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know, it's just an extra different thing to play your own yeah absolutely (laughs) and what a skill to be able to write your own music as well now you're playing the platform festival in pocklington next saturday Mm. and you're going to be playing with the likes of katie tunstall and ward thomas sounds amazing i know i don't i don't really know how i got it but um (laughs) (laughs) maybe they're gonna ring me up and be like oh it's an imposter but um (laughs) yeah i'm playing quite a bit early i'm playing at 235 on the saturday Mm -hmm. um but yeah, no, I've had a few interesting um, bookings for gigs and festivals. It's the first year I've done festivals and I'm doing uh, Warwick and Dunnington. I did Beverly and they've put me on the main stage at Warwick and Brilliant. at Beverly. So I was like, why? That's but it. thank you. I'm not going to question. I'm I'll, like, oh, I'll take it. Reply yeah. to the email of confirmation. This is fine. You know. <laughs> and it's in black and white now, darling. So I have <laughs> yeah. to do it, I'm afraid. <laughs> but um, it's it's part of the Pocklington Arts Centre as the platform and they've mm-hmm. been really good to me. Uh, really nice, nice guys and uh, supportive. So so, yeah, I'm really excited to go and play. Yeah, well, that sounds really good. It sounds like you've got a busy, you know, busy time coming up between everything, like the yeah. single, you're doing all these shows as well. Yeah, peak season. I mean, I sing yeah. at weddings and stuff as well as part of it. And um, from busking, you usually get a bunch of weddings and things. So, uh, yeah, peak season tends to be playing almost every day. Um, so that's why I've got quite a low voice at the moment. Oh, really? It's kind of <laughs> singing flat out Wear all the time. Out, yeah. <laughs> Actually, we um, spotted you in York when yeah. you were doing a bit of busking yes. um, and it seems that passers-by were really enjoying it and have you had any kind of interesting experiences whilst you've been busking at all? <laughs> we're going to be here a while if you want to know about this um, strangest ones um, well I had a lady donate a used plastic fork in my bag um, wow yeah, the stare she gave me was quite quite extreme. <laughs> really? Then gave you a plastic fork? Yes. Nice. Um, I've had uh, people bring me poems that they've written by hand. That's so nice. That interesting Interesting things, things. okay. Um, <laughs> so you've inspired people to sort of compose their own sort things? Sort of. Well, she was lovely, but I was like, thank you for this strange... <laughs> thank you for the poem on the fork. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Um, but I've had really nice experiences. I mean, mm. some of the more touching ones are when... Um, you know you play a song and somebody comes up to you and and it's a song that really means something mm. and sometimes when people cry and it's like oh i'm so sorry yeah yeah because uh, i play fields of gold a lot um like i love eva casti so that sort of thing yeah um they're the most touching um but a whole range you get you never know what you're going to get when you go out sometimes people can be uh, bit mean but mostly you know the overwhelming majority of people are really lovely Brilliant. and I, I love doing it so I feel very privileged to be able to be a, a busker um, it's here. fabulous it's great yeah and I guess York is a great place to, to perform like that as well because I think yeah. we've got a lovely mix of people here yeah yeah we're <laughs> going to hear uh, another song from, from you now if that's alright yeah of course so tell us a bit about this next song so this song was originally called Never Going To Be but no one ever remembered that title oh. um they always go rachel play that song in blue in blue yeah so i was like oh, i'll just call it in blue because no oh, one there seems we go. to remember never going to be i was listening to a bit of laura marling a bit of Joni mitchell when i was uh, writing it but i don't really know if it comes out in the song but anyway we'll see what you think <laughs> Since we walked shoulder to shoulder down these worn out tracks of a quiet old town And you would say something like, I'm no good for you darling And I'd hold you tight anyway I still see your face in these cobblestones In the dusty streets that don't recall your name And this ain't a love story, but it don't mean that I can't write it that way I was sat in that corner And you were in blue Playing those songs that I can't stand anymore Because they make me think of you That night I lay wondering If you were thinking of me And it didn't matter that I already knew This was never 
to be changing than a British sky and you use those clouds just to hide your face and I got so tired of being lost in the fog and always ending up back at that place I still see your face in these cobblestones and the dusty streets that don't recall your name and they sing a love story but it don't mean that I can tell it that way I was sat in that corner And you are in blue Playing those songs That I can't stand anymore Because they make me think of you That night I lay wondering If you were thinking of me And it didn't matter That I already knew That this was never meant to be Another brilliant song. <laughs> Rachel, thank you so much. Oh, no, no, no problem at all. Like, thank you for having me. I, I love that song. It was kind of, it's quite, um, it made me sort of, yeah, want to sort of shake Probably my head and sort of jump up and down on my seat almost. By far the most upbeat song I've ever written. <laughs> really? <laughs> the rest is just like, <laughs> I'm so dreamy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was brilliant. I mean, I've loved the, the two choices of songs that it played for us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. And listen, all the best with everything you've got coming up. Thank you very much. It's going to be a manic couple of months and yeah. hopefully manic couple of years and beyond. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. You do keep in touch with us. I will. Mm. Let us know what you're up to. Yes. And um, hopefully... We'll see you soon. Also, what's your Facebook page? Tell us one more time. Uh, yes, so Rachel Croft Music. Make sure you put music on the end and it's Rachel with an E-L, not A-E-L, Rachel. Fab. Very important to get the spelling right. Yes. Uh, also, Pocklington next Saturday, yep. 2.35, is it? Yes, Platform Festival, 2.35. Perfect. Uh, yeah, and everyone have a lovely weekend. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Always lovely to hear. Okay. Rachel Croft, thank you very much oh, indeed. No, no problem. <laughs>